um, Bishop Kimengich na viongozi wa kanisa viongozi wenzangu wakiongozwa na governor wetu Sang na viongozi wa tabaka mbalimbali wenye wako hapa wazee vijana na wamama wa kanisa tumsifu Yesu Kristo daima na milele by the way uh, bishop wewe unajua mimi kama vile nimesema hapo awali mimi nilisaliwa kwa Catholic na we unajua kanisa yetu ya Embobut Father Ray alipokuja katakista yake ya kwanza alikuwa baba yangu so nilizaliwa kwa hii kanisa iko na jina nyingine nilipewa na Father Renat kabla hii nyingine ya Onesmus ikuje kuna nyingine nitakuja kusema siku nyingine kukuambia wewe bisho na kwa sababu ya hiyo heshima nilizaliwa kwa katoliki wewe unajua bishop nimejitolea kwa Embobut kujenga shule ya St Michael's Catholic mimi mwenyewe fully and we are building a fully fledged school of up to half a billion shillings to make a difference kwa hiyo kanisa because of my foundation kwa Catholic Church I always say Father Renard Botna who was our father kwa Embobut was the first member of parliament kuwahi kukuja kwa Embobut na kubadilisha Marakwet kwa njia kubwa. Hii kanisa ya Katoliki iko na sifa kubwa sana. Na mimi naamini ya kwamba ingawa hata baadaye tuka move to AIC na hivyo namna hiyo mimi roho yangu nusu iko hapa na ile nusu nyingine iko upande ile nyingine. So kwa hivyo mimi nilipatizwa by the way as a child na nikapewa upatizo ile ya maji na kubarikiwa kama mtoto kwa kanisa hii na kupewa jina. So mimi ni mwenyewe. Nikikuja kujenga hapa ninafanya kazi yangu. Kurudisha mkono ile baraka niliwekwa ndio nikafika hapa. Na nikiwa hapa pia nataka kusisitiza ya kwamba hii shrine hata kama sina blessings ya bishop I don't think it is for Catholic alone. It is open for everybody who comes to pray. Na kwa hivyo The Bible says if my people uh, who are called by my name consecrate themselves and come before me and pray and asema I will do something I will make their country great and I will bless them. So we are here because of a very important issue. In fact the president aliniambia jana it's just because he lost his general. He considers this function a very very important function because of the work Uh, you people are doing here so bishop pongezi pongezi kanisa mzima my diocese is here ya ya uh, eldred so najua kwamba tunafanya kazi pamoja kutoka sehemu zote mpaka hapa i am always available whether tukiwa pokot tukiwa hapa tukiwa marakwet tukiwa pande gani mimi niko hapa na siombi mtu ruhusa kukuja nandi because je kuja kwa mtu mimi nimekuja kanisa. Ama namna gani? Eh, so siombi mtu rusa nikikuja hapa na kuja kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu, na kuja kushukuru Mungu, na kuja kutoa mchango yangu na sadaka yangu kwa Mungu. Na nikitoa sitolei mtu hata nisipopikiwa makofi, kuna makofi iko mbinguni nishapangiwa. So, upige kelele, upige makofi, upige nini? Mimi I am very clear in my mind. Mimi nikiwa kanisa, niko hapa kubadilisha maisha yangu mimi mwenyewe kwa kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Ya tatu nataka niwaambie watu wa Nandi asanteni sana. Tumetembea pamoja, tunaendelea kutembea pamoja. Santeni kwa kumwombea rais. Mnaona uchumi yetu sasa ndio hiyo inapika kona inakuwa nzuri. Shilingi yetu imekuwa stabilized na inakuwa strong. Mambo ya economy yetu inakuja juu. Sisi ambao tuko executive tunataka kuhakikishia ya kwamba rais anafanya kazi kubwa sana tukimsaidia tutamaliza ile shida tumekuwa nayo ya Kenya ya madeni tutakuwa ina capacity to balance pesa yetu na deni ambayo tumekuwa nayo barabara zetu nyingi zimekwama hii barabara yenye watu wengi wanaongelelea barabara ya kutoka Kipkaren sehemu ya hapo ikuje eh, Kaiboi na hiyo hiyo tu yote mpaka Kapkatembo hii barabara mimi nilikuja kama senator hapa na senator Sanz kwa hiyo tukakuja kulonji hiyo barabara pamoja 
Lakini sikujua siku moja Mungu atanipatia nafasi ni kuje ni jenge hiyo barabara. Mungu sasa amenipatia nafasi, amenipatia uwezo, nimekuja kuchora. Niliposema siku ile nikiwa hapa Mosorio nitafukuza hiyo contractor watu wengine walikuwa nafikia ni mchezo. Tulifukuza na tumeleta contractor mwenye ako na uwezo na ako na tajriba ya kutengeneza barabara mzuri kama sehemu zingine za Kenya. So your contractor will be on site soon. Mambo ya barabara nitakuja kuongelelea barabara mwenyewe. Na wewe sang Tayote unaniambia sasa uliniambia tengeneza tu hii 3 km asikuja hapa. Leo tena umepiga kona. Mwenda kusema haya nini na ukibari ndio ubarikiwe na wewe ongeza ikue tano. Hii kitu utazunguma mpaka wapi bwana you know? Tuseme one sababu za moja ndio nijipange nijue itafanya namna gani. Na unajua sang hii vitu ya kuongeza ya kusema ongeza hapa ongeza hapa. Inge ni lemi Kenya tukulis. Mtiji tukula ndaka kutinya waziri ne tashine wech kidogo yu ko tashi yu ngo tashi yu. Lakini angi arab sangi maja wa tashi ako wa tashi yu ako wa yu lakini ngo wa tashi ni komi ala kipere gelene. Kwa magine ntai yu ni laga wa tashi kidogo gele ino waka miyona jepko doku chuko wa tashi ya nada tu kilomita. Anyway lakini sasa mwa waziri na baka yu eh. Ah ngi aitu alafu kesi ukwambe. Mwai wei, mwai wei ito shida ambele huko. So bishop, ile contract usha peana inamaliza hii. Hiyo ya sanga meongeza. Kidogo, kwa kikisha kwamba, hiyo ingine ya meongeza kidogo, tutafanya yote pamoja. Hili ishrain iweze kasavu watu vile inafa. Ndiyo niketi chini. Mimi nitu niko na shida moja. Inji yetu, Tunapotesa watu wengi sana kwa ajali ya barabara. Ajali nyingi za barabara. Na bishop, kila mwaka for the last 10 years, tumekua tukipotesa 4,400 people, 4,000, mwaka ilikuwa mbaya zaidi ni 202. Tulipotesa 4,650. Mwaka jana tulipunguza kidogo. Lakini mwaka uu vile imeanza, imeanza vibaya. Na yote ni watu wanaendesha kari kwa njia ya kiolela. Na watu wote wanasema wao ni wakristo. Lakini mtu anovalap, analipa bribe, anaingiza, anaingia gari, enye, anabeba watu kumi na ine, anaongeza ikuwe watu ishirini, na ye ndi anaingia number 15, number 16, number 17, number 18. Na bado anakuja kanisa kusema bwana asifiwe. Mungine anaingia bus, avai belt. Mungine anaingia gari enye deleva ni, ni mlevi. Mungine anaingia boda boda, yeye, bibi, watoto, na ni boda boda inabeba mtu moja. Alavu kenye inabaki tu ni kupika picha na kusema waziri yako hape. I know Bishop we are doing everything to sort our roads, our, our roads accident as, as government. Tutaweka cameras parabara mutaona hivi karibuni. Tutaweka mambo ya telematics kwa shule bar school sote tutaweka karibuni. Tutaweka hizi mambo yote ni napeana kandarazi ya kulete new car inspectors tutaweka inspections ile mzuri mpaka accountability mpaka ikuwe digital lakini yenye itamaliza zaidi ni kubadilisha ro na mawazo ya wale ambao wanasababisha ajali za barabara na ninakuomba bishop kwa ile communique yako kwa mapadre ambia hawa wakipata nafasi jumabili waongelelee responsibility ya driver na passengers Ata kama ni dakambili. Because it is not right for us to lose so many lives in something that is preventable. And I implore Kenyans, I care for you, I cry for you, but I'm only but one person. If the 50 million of us in Kenya became responsible drivers, responsible passengers, responsible citizens, we were going to make sure that we sort out this thing of road carnage. Tumekuja hapa leo kwa sababu Ya kufanya kazi ya mungu, governor sang ya kusema kweli ndi ametufanya ame tukue hapa, yeye ndi amekua ame project coordinator, sisi ambao tukua serikali. I was with him, akiongea na rais, na alimuambia rais akue patron ya hii project. So sijui ameambia watu wangavi wakue patrons, I don't know. Lakini I was there, akimuambia rais na mna hiyo. Pia, nilikuwa na sang na head of public service, Na head of public service amesema akiwa nyumbani hapa 
lazima atashikana na sisi kumaliza hii sanctuary na hii prayer center yeye mna, kama vile mnajua and i hope uh, his uh, message has been passed but if it's not passed he also told me to pass it head of public service felix koske ako nairobi saa hii anaendelea na ile maneno ya kumalizana na mambo ya madaktari na kupanga mambo ya nchi tumuombee yeye na asanteni sana kwa vile mnamuombea na yeye anasimama na sisi kwa kazi hii mpaka imalizike kwa hivyo tuko pamoja za team i want to thank you my friend governor sang don't get tired to bring us here there is not coincidence kuna watu wanasema why are deputy president ministers wanaenda nandi sana huwa inategemea kiongozi mwenye wako hapo kama hako na mpango mheshimiwa sang is a very organized meticulously serious planner i have never if sang is on your side and is planning for you you are likely to succeed siku ya elections juzi mimi tu na huyo aron na marafiki wawili watatu ndio tuliamini sang atashinda because we know sang lakini watu wengine wengi walikuwa naimba sang chipkete mon direct nikaambia watu sang aweze and i know him sang nikakutana na sang akaniambia it's no longer about elections my brother my dignity is on the line <laughs> and he did a very good job to explain himself and against all odds he was elected as a governor for a second term congratulations sang continue doing the work you are doing i have never seen also another governor who brings leaders together and comes together to our offices as close as you do yourself of course my governor also does that nachelili also anajaribu of course because they are here i have to say so lakini i'm going to say sang has been very organized in coming with the leaders to have a meeting with us in the offices to sort the things that we have there sang is my friend and there was a time kisiasa hapa kuna watu walitaka kutugawa sisi na sang ati ndio tusikue tunakuja hapa so they used to tell sang ati yako kwa mgongo ya murkome ndio sang aogope aseme waje nisite murkome i want to assure you sisi tutatembea na sang vile mzee henry kosgei hapa alitembea na mzee moi na wengine sisi na sang na aro na wengine tutatembea na rais mpaka rais afanye kazi vile inafaa kufanyika kwa nchi yetu ya mwisho nataka kushukuru mzee yangu henry kosgei here huyu mzee ndiye aliniweka kwa serikali ya kwanza kama director wa anti counterfeit na ni mzee mkatoliki mwaminifu i am very happy to see him here he was the minister of transport and he came to bless me in the office wakati nilishikilia hiyo kiti yenye alishikilia when he was barely 31 years thank you mzee for coming and please endelea na mawaidha ile unanipatia tusenge wote pamoja tujenge nchi yetu na wapenda watu wa nandi na mungu awabariki sana Asante sana God bless you. Uh, sorry. Niko na uh, I said I will recognize tuko hapa na chairman yetu ya Kenya Airports Authority. Mheshimiwa Caleb Kosetani. Na ni kijana ya hii village. Nasikia around hapa. Kijana ya village lakini mzee. Ni Caleb. Unajua Caleb sijui anatukona aje. Anakaanga na sisi tu tunafikiria ni our age mate lakini ni mzee huyu. Uyo Caleb is doing a very good job at the airport. We are transforming JKIA in a manner you've never seen in the next three years because of the work the chairman is doing and we are expanding our airport in Eldoret we will extend by another 500 meters. Ndio is idea watu yetu kwa hapa. Kwa sababu ulichelewa uweze ongea baada ya waziri wako kaa tu lakini nishaongea kwa niaba ya yote. Lakini nashukuru sana. Nashukuru sana for the work you are doing Caleb and I'm very very proud that I work with you. Thank you very much namungo wabariki